Huh? Where'd it go? Ugh. Looks like I'll have to lay low for a while. Mortal, here, how curious. Why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? Oh, are you? What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. Humans are mundane, boring creatures. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? I... What? What do you mean? What? Watch your tongue, mortal! Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? You confounding little! I should incinerate you where you stand! I am the flame demon, and you will show me proper respect! And why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? I have no reason to believe your words. Foolish human! You do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? Is this human S serious? So be it, foolish mortal. I agree to your terms. There is no backing out of this bargain now. I will go on a <clears throat> date with you. And if I do not enjoy myself, I will consume your soul. So, um, where are we going? Very well. We will now commence our date. Do not disappoint me, human. Ah, this location is pleasant. <laughs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Proceed with your attempts to woo me. Do your worst. The year I first drew breath was 1431. I was born into a wealthy family. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Eventually, their envy turned to rage. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. My mother and father attempted to resist, 
but they were no match for dozens of armed peasants. The peasants beat my parents savagely. When my mother and father were at the brink of death, peasants burned them alive. Afterwards, peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. I hid during the peasants' assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. For what? <laughs> well, I was able to obtain my revenge in the end. My desire to take vengeance on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. The demon took an interest in me. We struck a deal, and I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. And so once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. You truly are an ignorant human. To think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. <laughs> I mean... Yes! You are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. A demon is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. The human must perform a great sacrifice. After the sacrifice has been performed, the demon will grant the human the power that they desire. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension to demonhood. B what That's a ridiculous statement! <sighs> How bothersome. There were actually dozens of other demons present, but only three chose to make themselves visible to you. I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. Where is this coming from? There are very few activities available within the Demon Realm. From the Demon Realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. It is quite amusing. It is much like your human invention, the television. 
A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire the soul, so that I may continue living. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. Are you asking for their names? A demon's name is a closely guarded secret. To know a demon's human birth name is to have power over that demon. I will not give you such power. When a human achieves demonhood, they are granted a title that reflects their nature. I am the Flame Demon. The two demons who accompany me when you enter the demon realm are known as the Pain Demon and the Lust Demon. Pain Demon seems to be capable of doing nothing but muttering about the last few hours of his life as a human. If you want to know his backstory, I suggest you simply speak to him. Lust Demon never talks about herself, and even if she did, I would not be inclined to tell you more about her, because I am not one to gossip about others. Hmm. <laughs> How presumptuous that you would assume I enjoy being questioned. Make no mistake, I take little enjoyment in your curiosity. I will not be moved by such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably, I... Oh. It is a jest. You are referencing the fact that I have a flame for a face. Your jests are of poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwounded. Your flame puns do not affect me! This date was very interesting. I don't know how you've done it, human, but somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of you. Have I been seduced? Bewitched? Dare I say it? Wooed? I want to belong to you, and I want you to belong to me. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. I thought that I no longer had a heart to give, but my heart is now yours. Congratulations, human. You've conquered a demon. Well, what are we going to do now, lover? I like the way you think.